Welcome back for another vlog, guys. Playing the FR Legends game for iPhone. Just came out recently. Got an IS300 and a 240SX. So this game's pretty cool. You can uh, adjust your camber, bring your wheels out, change, uh, they call it flange, which is actually basically just like a spacer. Push the wheel further in or out. You can upgrade your engine. This one's fully upgraded. You can do your transmission, ECU, camshaft, turbo swaps, engine swaps. So this thing makes about 617. Everything's on it. It's pretty awesome. So you can change up your paint scheme, your livery, anything you really want to. I mean, no car is really gonna look exactly the same as anybody else's. You can also uh, go in in the interior, you can change out the gauges, the clusters, the hydro e-brake, the shift knobs, basically anything you can do in a normal car, you can do in this game. So it's pretty cool. Give it a little personal touch. So when you first download the game, don't really go too crazy on you know modifying the body kit because if you do wreck the car, it's gonna cost more to replace everything. So just build the engine as much as you can and go from there. And then you can start adding things cosmetically as you want. I ended up going with the uh, the VSKF wheels. I just like the way that they look the best. Um, I went with large, I went with the craziest offset, and then just fitted them by adding camber. This is the IS300 that I got as well. I made this thing look insane, but it needs more power. So now I'm gonna go back and we're gonna do a swap, add more power, change the turbo, everything, and make it more competitive. One of the cool things is you can actually uh, swap out the coilovers. See here I'm messing with the height. Definitely make this thing slammed. I would definitely want a car like this for sure, like in real life. Yeah, slam it. Definitely slam it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Got all the tracks. Definitely don't waste your money on the school course. It is garbage. It's really, really tight and you can barely get around the track. So you can see in the bottom left corner, I'm changing the classes. You can get more points the higher the class you're in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add, let's see what we can swap out to. Let's do an SR20. Maybe, no, let's see what we got. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go with this. Definitely need some more turbo parts, so we're gonna upgrade the turbo kits. Let's do some engine mods first, max everything out. Camshaft, let's max that out. Transmission, ECU. Still can't mess with the turbo stuff yet. Let's just do a turbo upgrade. Where's the, go back, come on. Turbo kit, here we go. Let's we'll see which one makes the most power. There we go. Fully upgrade this. Fully upgrade the turbo. Intercooler. Air filter. 644s we actually ended up with. That's pretty crazy. That would be a rowdy street setup. Forgot a couple things here on the 240. One second. Let's build some of this money. And just like that, we're out of money. So we'll have to come back to that later. Looks so good though. This looks awesome too. Let's go to the track. So first things first, just steer straight, grab the e-brake by the wall, try to get as close as you can without actually tapping it because you will cause damage to the car and it's going to cost you money in the long run. So try to follow as close to the line as you can, get as much angle while still hitting all of the clipping points and that'll give you a really good run. So I checked this run out and I'm getting 112 which is really good. The lead run was good, let's see what the chase run is. So the car's a little bit faster than this guy, so you're gonna wanna kinda slow up a little bit on him, but still maintain you know, pretty good proximity. And you wanna try to mimic exactly what he's doing, like that, and you're gonna get some more points by doing that, and there's no possible way he's gonna beat you. So 
So in a perfect world, 200 is going to be the best. You're going to get the most points at that time. And whatever class you're in depends on the actual uh, money that you win. So when it comes to using the actual e-brake, you don't want to lock it up completely. You just want to like lightly feather it. So stay on throttle, keep your finger on the actual screen, and then just gently tap the brake. And then if you need to uh, get closer in tandem, this also helps a lot as well. So again, their car is a little bit slower. So you want to kind of check up on your speed and initiate when they do and try to stay as close as you can without actually hitting them because if you do hit them you, you are going to lose points and if they do the same thing to you they don't lose anything that's one downside to this game i'm sure in like later updates they'll try to fix that so that's going to pretty much finish up today's video if you guys have any questions or anything drop a comment below i'll be sure to uh make a follow-up video answering anything that you guys have uh, questions about. If you haven't subbed yet, go hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.